Well, good morning. You know, I was thinking about these present circumstances we find ourselves in. The quarantine, the gathering restrictions, shortages of various products, the oil price crash, a, a looming possible depression. All very dire and troubling. And the word that came to my mind was perseverance. And here are the dic dictionary definitions. The noun perseverance means persistence in doing something despite the difficulty or delay in achieving success. The verb persevere means to continue in a course of action even in the face of difficulty or with little or no prospect of success. If you look up persevere or perseverance in the Bible, you won't find it in a lot of places. But if you look up endure and endurance, well, that's a different story. Let's check out Romans 5, verses 1 through 5. Paul writes, Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. We have also obtained access through him by faith into this grace in which we stand, and we boast in the hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we also boast in our afflictions, because we know that affliction produces endurance. Endurance produces proven character, and proven character produces hope. This hope will not disappoint us, because God's love has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Brothers and sisters, know that this time of affliction is for our good, producing hope in us by the pro progression that Paul gives. Affliction leads to endurance, endurance leads to proven character, and proven character leads to hope. There's also this from Hebrews 12, verses 1 and 2. Therefore, since we also have such a large cloud of witnesses surrounding us, let us lay aside every hindrance and the sin that so easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that lies before us, keeping our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, for the joy that lay before him, he endured the cross, despising the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. If Christ could endure the agony of the cross, surely we can endure these present trifling sufferings. Finally, friends, consider what James has to say in James 1, 2 through 4. Consider it a great joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you experience various trials, because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance. And let endurance have its full effect, so that you may be mature and complete, lacking nothing. If we want to be mature and complete, and we should all desire that, then we need to let endurance have its full effect. And that means bearing up under our trials with perseverance. Remember the definition, persistence in doing something despite the difficulty or delay in achieving success? That is why we are presenting church services via live stream. That is why we are encouraging you not to grow weary in doing good. That's why we exhort you to look after your neighbors, look for ways to help, to be part of the solution and not part of the problem. As the children of the Most High God, we are called to a higher standard. We are called to love the unlovable, to continue on, to persist in doing what we know is right and not do as the world does. Brothers and sisters, I hope you have a great day today. Be a blessing to somebody. Thank you.